welcome to my channel so today in this video I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful uh, pouch for your kids and you can also use this as a cosmetic pouch and it's a box kind of pouch and as this is a school time you can make this pouch for your kids and definitely they're going to enjoy this to make this pouch I just took a Ryan fabric so you can take any kind of pattern fabric as this is for a girl child I just took a pink color base and this is how the fabric look so to the fabric I'm going to press the interfacing on the fabric so to the wrong side of the fabric you're going to uh, place this interfacing and you're going to give a complete press and this is going to be the lining for the fabric the same beautiful pink okay so you have to take the exact color that you're going to take for the main piece so I have just pressed the main fabric with the uh, interfacing like such and you can see it's firm enough and uh, this is the lining lining is going to stay same and uh, from the top this fabric is measured like nine inches so this nine inches is absolutely depends upon you how much big you want the pouch to be so i just made a little bit big pouch so that she can keep the sketch color pencils crayons everything in one so i just made a little bit big if you're making this for a pencil case make sure you just take like till five inches that's more than enough so main fabric and this is going to be the same nine inches and this is the zip that i'm using for this project so i have just folded the fabric in half so the total length of this fabric is 18 inches i have folded in half for nine inches and let me cut this fabric in half like such so the main fabric is now divided into two and my lining is also being divided into two very cool project for definitely i bet you they are going to love this okay so now take the main fabric and this is the zip so place the pre side of the zip matching the pretty side of the fabric and then place the lining on top of that so the trick over here is make sure that you match all the three parts that is the lining the zip and the main fabric raw edge all together see lining zip and the main fabric and before taking that to the sewing machine just pin that in place so that everything will stay in the exact position and just putting a pin i'm going to sew that together so no need to add the zipper food you can just make this with a normal food and i'm just using the normal food to sew this so you don't get the exact size of the pouch that's a zipper make sure you buy a zip which is more than the exact size of the pouch so in case if you want you can just trim that off and i'm going to just make a straight stretch from one end to another like such so once it's done it's going to look like this just take out the lining and you're going to flip the lining back and now you can see this is the pre side of the zip and the pre side of the lining so now we are going to do the same to the next side take the pretty side of the fabric and match the pretty side of the zip to the pre side of the fabric and take the lining and you're going to place it underneath so now again the come the lining the zip and the main fabric so pin that in place and you're going to sew this again so if you have any doubts in placing the fabric that's the only tricky part in making the pouch just have this video as a reference for sure you can also make a cool uh, pouch like this so if you want you can so if you want you can use this pouch as a vanity case to keep all your cosmetic item and now same like that i'm going to put a straight stretch again um, on this sandwiching the uh, zip okay so once it's done 
it's going to look like this just open the main fabric and bring the lining fabric up and it's going to look nice and neat like this so now I'm going to put a basting stitch on top of this on the both the sides of the fabric so when you put this basting stitch the fabric will be wide enough and it won't come forward to the zipper teeth so while closing you won't find any difficult so same like this I'm going to put a stitch on both the sides of the zip so I'm just sewing to the next side so 50% we are done with this and if you want a straight pouch you can just uh, sew this on all the four corners that's it you are done so if you want a simple pouch you're going to sew all the three corners like this or else if you want to make a box just follow the video so you're going to sew exactly on this point that is uh, you're going to fold the pretty sides together and it's going to have a straight stretch sewing the raw edges of the down part of the pouch okay so once it's done it's going to look like this so you're going to have a big hole at the center and you're going to place it flat like this and make sure the center point of your pouch that what you sewn right now should match the zip center point like this and I'm just pinning that in place before sewing this okay you're going to flip and turn it like this and pin that in place before sewing that okay and now make sure that you tuck the zip in before sewing so that uh, it, the zip is going to stay in and with your needle make sure you put one or two stretch so that the zip won't turn while sewing so once it's done I'm going to stretch on top of this so when you get into the zip make sure you add some back stretch like this so you're going to do the same to the next side also so now just open the zip And just take the pointed tip like this and you're going to sew all the four pointed tips so with the measuring tape I'm going to measure like 1.5 to 1 uh, 1 inches that is um, just taking your measuring tape and i will be marking for 1 inch So to the, all the four sides, I'm going to mark the same one inch. So if you want, you can take like 1.5 inch also so that the pouch is going to be, look a little bit big. Okay, it add volume to the pouch. So if you want, you can take like 1.5 inch also. So you're going to do that same for all the four corners of the pouch and you're going to sew that together. very simple very easy to make within 10 to 15 minutes you can make this beautiful pouch it won't take more than that so with the leftover fabric also you can try to make this pouch for sure your kids are going to enjoy this so now I have sewn all the four corners so let me flip to the pretty side and you're going to tuck in all the uh, lining in and now we can see it just came really simple and very beautiful and it's very professional i totally like this and for the zip i just made a small tassel so that 
kids will love uh, tassels like this so if you want to know how to make this tassel continue watching this video i show you how to make this tassel in a very simple and easy way and also i added some beads so that it look really fancy and hope you like this video and uh, it just looks really 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 beautiful so let me show you how to make this beautiful tassel so the next tassel i'm going to make in a pink color fabric uh, take a normal embroidering thread and fold the embroidery thread in half and you're going to tie the exact center point of the embroidery thread so it doesn't need to be embroidery thread if you have a woolen thread also you can try this you can make this in a normal thread also and just try to make sure you tie on the exact center of your embroidery thread and i'm going to secure that with two to three knots and just cut that away leaving a five to six inch of thread at the top okay so gather everything together and you're going to uh, tie another knot like such okay take a piece of thread and you're going to wrap that tight over this point and you're going to again secure that with some two to three knots and just trim the excess thread make sure that the thread is being uh, trimmed evenly like this and this is how the tassel is look, going to look and to the top part I'm going to add some beads this is optional if you want beads you can add beads so now I have added the beads. I'm securing the beads by adding some knots. And now I'm going to just insert the one point of my tassel to my zip. And tie that together. So you just made a beautiful tassel to a zip. For sure they're going to enjoy this and hope you like this video and if you like this video and if you want more creative videos like this don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below. So see you next time with a different kind of video. Take care. Bye bye.